babes and welcome back to my channel for this video I decided to do a glossy lid um, it turned out really good and it's actually not that sticky I think I would be able to use it throughout the day I did not wear lashes though because I thought that maybe because of the gloss the lash would be sliding around but I just used a lot of mascara if you guys would like to know how I created it then just keep on watching so after prepping and moisturizing my skin, I went ahead and used this MAC Strobe Cream. I dotted it all over my face first. And then with a medium-sized stippling brush, I went ahead and blend all of the product into my face. And what this product does for you is just add luminosity and glow to your skin. To add even more glow, I went ahead and used this e.l.f. Illuminating Cream. And this product is about $4 at Ulta. And it is amazing. Like, I'm not kidding you. It is amazing. It leaves your skin very, very dewy, which I like. You can see here how glowy and healthy my skin is looking with this product. Moving on to my super dark circles, which are like 10 times extra dark now that I'm pregnant. I went in with my Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer in the shade number 2. And this has a salmon, salmon-y uh, shade to it, which will cancel out the darkness under my eyes. So I just recently picked up this product. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydration Foundation. And I am in the shade 2.15. I am in love with this foundation. It gives me the perfect hydration that my skin needs. It does not look cakey and does not make my skin look dry. What I like to do is first apply the foundation to my face, then go in with a flat shader brush and distribute the foundation all over my face. And after I have it distributed, I go in with the beauty blender and blend all of the foundation into my skin. I'm concealing and prepping my eyelids with the concealer and this is the Shape Tape concealer by Tarte and I am in the shade light medium honey to set my eyelids I'm just using this shade and light palette by Kat Van D and I'm using the shade lyric For my eyes, I'm using my Viseart eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to go in with that shade which is the first one and it's a peachy shade. I am just using this all over my crease as a transition color and then I use a thinner brush and dip, deepen up my crease but I'm still using that same color just intensifying the crease if that makes any sense. To brighten up my under eyes a bit more, I'm just going in with my concealer. To set my concealer and the rest of my face, I'm using the Patrick Star MAC Powder. For bronzer, I'm using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I am using a Morphe Slanted Fluffy Blush brush. I think it's what it is supposed to be. It doesn't have a name, but this 
brush is very good for contouring and bronzing especially because it has that slanted surface on it which is which helps me out with contouring at least using another morphe brush that does not have a name i am contouring my nose once i have the actual line of the contour what i like to do is clean off my brush and then once it's clean i like to go back in and blend it that way you don't you're not adding any more product onto your nose contour For my cheeky dickies, I am using the blush I Will Always Love You by Too Faced. And this color is a peachy color, which I thought would look good with my eyeshadow. For my highlight today, I am using the Tarte Skin Twinkle palette, and I'm using the shade Sunlight. So I got this trick from Jaclyn Hill. I decided to dip my beauty wet beauty blender into my highlighter palette and place that in the tops of my cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, and chin. And girl, let me tell you, that highlight looks so flawless when you do this. Using that same highlighter, I am just placing it in the inner corners of my eyes. For my facial spray, I'm using the Pure Lessons Rose Water. Now, I don't really like how it sprays, but I do like how it leaves my skin. So for the fun part of this video, I am using the ColourPop Lip Gloss in Fairy Floss and I am applying this on my eyelids. And how I apply it is just kind of do like a cut crease kind of shape with the actual lip gloss. Then go in with my pinky and smooth out and take away a little bit of that tackiness of the lip gloss. And for brows, we're just using a little bit of editing magic to get them done. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am not using lashes today. I'm just using mascara. And the mascara I use today is actually not the It Cosmetics Super Hair Mascara. I know I use that in every video, but I am using the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte Mascara. Going back into the Viseart palette with the same shade, I am placing this underneath my lash line. For today's lips, I'm using Buxom's Lip Gloss in Dominique and the Color Pop uh, Lip Gloss in the Fairy Floss color, which is the same shade that I used for my lids. That is it for this look. It is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.